Hi there, my name is Emma and welcome to my channel. I make videos on art, upcycling, and DIYs, so if that interests you, make sure you subscribe. I have been wanting a laser engraver slash cutter for such a long time now, and a company called Orter kindly reached out to me and offered to send me one. This video is not sponsored, they're not paying me to post this, however, they did send me this laser for free, so I thought you should know that, and thank you so much to Orter for sending me this laser to review. I am still very new to all things laser, so I am no expert by any means. I'll link a few videos below that were helpful to me as I set it up, but just so you know, I am still learning. Learning how to use the laser, but mostly learning how to use the software that I had to buy to go along with it. When you buy a laser, this one is the Afero Laser 2 with a 5 watt laser. You are buying just the laser itself, but in order to make it work, you'll also need to get some software. The laser itself is $270, and if you have a Windows slash PC, lucky you, you can get Laser Gerbil for free, but unfortunately, I have a Mac, so the only option for me that I could find was Lightburn, which is $60. So make sure if you have a Mac, you're adding on that additional $60 cost of the software that you'll need to operate your laser. As I said, I have been using Lightburn. There are a bunch of different settings that you can change to make it more powerful, or you can make the laser speed faster. There are three different things that you can change. So it's definitely a lot of learning and experimenting, which I haven't really been able to fully comprehend all the different types of you know, measurements that I need to get right in order to cut different thicknesses of wood and other things. This laser engraves and cuts more than just wood, but wood is the main reason that I wanted to use it. But I'm still learning how to negotiate those three different numbers to make sure I have the perfect cuts each time. As I said, I'm definitely not an expert by the end of this video, but I'll show you how I made some preliminary cuts and how I did some engraving. With this laser, you can make cuts like this. This is a little engraving slash cutting. Made some circles, painted this little uh, snail, and cut this out. Again, totally not an expert. These are all experiments, but this is the sort of thing that you can make with a laser engraver. I think this will totally change my business. If you don't know, I have an Etsy store where I sell wooden cutout butterflies, and I'm really hoping to make some intricate frames and really cool stuff to sell on my Etsy. So if you are someone who sells their own art, I really think this tool could be very, very cool for you and really up your game and make your life a little bit more efficient. I am also recently engaged, so I'll definitely be doing some wedding DIYs on a laser. But I feel like I've been talking for too long, so let's get into the unboxing and the setting up of the laser, and then I'll show you a test piece that I did. So this is what the laser looks like when you get it and you open up the box. We've got a manual that you have to scan to get. We've got some glasses so you don't burn your eyes looking at the laser. These parts are for an air compressor that I didn't end up setting up and these are some tester sheets, zip ties, and a few other things. And then here is the laser itself. This is a 5 watt laser. Next we have our two pieces of the Y axis. This is one of them and this is the other one. You can see they've got measurements on them. We've also got some cords. One of these cords will connect to your computer and the other one is a power cord that you'll plug into the wall. And then this little tube you won't see me using because again, it's also for the air compressor. This super plain piece is just the back axis. And then we have this piece which is going to go on top of both of the Y axis and that middle piece is where the laser is going to go. And then we have the front piece which is where you can plug everything in. This white cord will connect the axis and the laser and I believe that it's everything we have got in the box. To start the assembly process, you're going to take the back piece and attach it to the left Y axis and you're gonna use a small screw on the side and use this little tool to get it in there and then you're gonna use a long screw going in from the back into that left side. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the right side starting with a small screw and then you will take your larger screw and screw it in on the back. 
Next, we're gonna screw in the right front side. This was definitely the trickiest side for me, this little tiny screw. Took me about 15 minutes, but once you get that in, you can screw the longer screw in the front. Finally, we're gonna go to the front right side and screw in that super long screw. But before we do our smaller screw, you're gonna take this little circle that kind of pops out of there and put it underneath our small screw. It's a yellow wire and screw that in. Then you wanna make sure these are even before you put in this middle piece, which the laser will go on. They should slide right in and then grab this little baggie that has washers and screws. You're gonna to wanna to put the washer first, starting on the right side and put a washer and a nut on both of those. I hope I'm getting those names right and screw those in with this little wrench that it gives you. And you're gonna do that on both sides, starting on the right side. Then once we get to the left side, it'll be a little different. You're gonna put the washer and the screw on the front as normal. But then once we get to the back side, you are going to make sure that you get this black cord, which has all of these different parts, but you're gonna get the circle part and the yellow cord. You're gonna put the washer down and then you're gonna slide that circle over it before you put on that end cap and screw it on. And then you'll want to make sure that wire stays in place. So I took one of my zip cords and there's this little hole in this section. You should be able to find it pretty easily. And you wanna zip tie your cord down so it doesn't move as the machine's working. I added two zip ties to this area and then I cut off the extra zip ties when I finished. Next, you'll grab this cord labeled X and you will plug that in to this little tower here. There's a spot right there and it inserts right in. Then you'll go back to the front left and take this set of cords that are black and plug it into the bottom of this box. It's kind of hard to show, but there is a little area that it inserts. Then you're gonna do pretty much the same thing on the right front side, except this cord needs to go through this little hole in the bottom. And then once you feed it through there, you can put it into the bottom of that box. Now, finally, this white cord will connect on one side, this side that has a little clip into that black cord. So just connect those two pieces. And then we're gonna have to attach it to this middle bar with some zip ties. So I use three zip ties. You can see there's three little holes and it works out perfectly. So you're gonna insert the zip ties up through and attach the cord that way. Once all three of the zip ties are secured, you can cut off the ends. And now it's finally time to attach the laser head itself. It will come with this little metal screw that you can insert into the black piece in the bottom. And this is what's going to tighten the screw on here. So you're gonna slide it on and then you tighten that little metal piece. And this is how you can adjust the height of the laser later. Then you'll take your white cord and insert it into the top of your laser and it should leave a little tiny green U-shaped piece out you're going to unscrew the back left screw a little bit, slip that U-shape underneath, and then tighten it back up. And to finish it off, you can plug everything in, plug in the power cord and the cord to connect it to your computer, and you can turn it on. It also comes with a little cylinder to help you kind of decide and adjust the height and the size. I'm still figuring out how to make it work. I um, am pretty new to lasers, so this is very new for me, but this was my first engraving of a snail. The key is you're gonna have to use this software called Lightburn or Laser Gerbil. So please keep that in mind that you will be learning software on top of whatever you're learning with your laser. That's kind of what Lightburn looks like. I have a Mac, so I can only use Lightburn. And here is a little sample of it engraving. This is super cool, but I'm still very much learning how to use it. 
As I said, this laser has a ton of possibilities. I was sent a long format laser, which is better for cutting, but they have on their website a bunch of different types of lasers, or actually, I think they have three different types of laser heads. Um, some that are a little bit meant for cutting, which is the one I have, some that are geared towards engraving, and then I believe there's one that's kind of a happy medium between both. I planned on doing mostly cutting with my laser, so they sent me a cutting one. Again, very generously, thank you so much. I've had so much fun getting to learn this. I, again, I definitely feel like a noob using the Lightburn software, but hopefully as I create with this laser, I'll learn how to use it a little bit better. Obviously, I will link the laser below. If they give me a discount code, I'll also put it in there to get you a little bit of savings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and happy making.